G'day guys, Steve with Broken Sprocket. In this video, we're gonna be completing the top end engine rebuild on the RM125. So let's get started. Okay, I've got a new piston ring kit for the RM, new bearing and new gasket kit. I've also had the cylinder, had a light hone, so it's ready to go. And let's get this top end back together. Okay, the first thing we need to do is check our ring gap. The ring gap is the little piece between this piece of the ring and this piece here, and you put it in the cylinder and it will close it up. And it needs to be between 0.45 and 0.60. So I just put it in the cylinder and check the ring gap. Okay, with the ring inside the cylinder, you just check that gap there, and that there's 0.45. I'll try it at 0.50 and see how that goes. 0 0.50 only just gets in there, so it's within spec and that will be fine. Okay, first thing to do is just put this gasket in place. Now we need to attach the piston to the uh, con rod. Okay, taking a look at the piston, you'll see a arrow here. Now that arrow must point towards your exhaust or to the front of the motor. And there's also, the rim will go in this groove here. And there's also a little notch in the, uh, in the groove and that's where the rim meets um, at the two ends and they go over that notch. Also, you'll see in this here where the uh, the pin runs through the wrist pin there's a little groove in it and that's where the circlips will will sit in there in that groove to make sure that wrist pin doesn't come out now with the bearing make sure you put lots of two stroke oil over it you can buy another special type of oil but i just use two stroke oil after all two stroke oil is what will be lubricating the bike when it's running so it's good enough for first engine startup as well i believe now with that well lubricated, just slide it back into the con rod. Put some lube inside there where the wrist pin will be. Arrow to the front or to the exhaust. Lubricate this wrist pin up really good. And slide it in. Now with the bearing and the wrist pin in and the piston in place, you get these two little circlips and they will just go in that groove there and hold the wrist pin in place. Now these pins can be tricky to get in place, so it's gonna be hard to video it. Now with that pin in place and those circlips in place, the piston cannot come off. Make sure it's in the groove properly. Okay, it's now time to install the rim. Now there's a little letter or number on the top edge of the rim, and that must be at the top of the piston. So put some lube around the rim. And that sounds a bit weird, but anyway, put some oil around the piston rim. And install it to the piston. Now with the rim on the piston, you'll see the gap on the rim and it goes over the top of that little notch that I was talking about earlier. And then when it goes, the cylinder goes on, it will close over the top of that notch like this here. Okay, it's time to put the cylinder over the top of the piston. I'll just throw some oil inside the cylinder, make sure it's well lubricated. Also, you get this piston very well lubricated so it slides on nice and easy. The 
Okay, putting the cylinder on, you just make sure that piston rim gap goes over the top of the little groove and you squeeze the piston inside the cylinder. Make sure that power valve rod goes inside there too. piston is now inside the cylinder, or the cylinder is back installed to the engine. Okay, we now get the cylinder nuts, put them back on. Just put them on finger tight to start with. Okay, these cylinder bolts need to be at 18 foot pound. Your best to go diagonally, but these ones here I can't get a torque wrench in, so I'm just gonna have to do it with a spanner and guess it. But I do know 18 foot pound is very little torque. That's it on that one. The one I can't get to, just use a spanner. 18 foot pound isn't much, so just nip there like that. And that's it. And this one here I can't, so I guess that'll do it. Now with the cylinder on, I've just got the kickstarter, I'm just going to have a look at the piston It'll go up and down, and make sure it's not jamming up in any way, and it isn't, it's working very freely. You can see there's plenty of lubrication inside that cylinder. Now to install the cylinder head, we need to get the new O-rings on. You just put a little bit of oil around the O-ring, it sort of helps it sit in place. Now with the O-rings in place, just slide your cylinder head back on. head washers back on. Put the head nuts on. Now with them finger tight, we need to torque them up to 18 foot pound as well. Sort of go in a crisscross pattern, sort of here, 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 here. Reinstall the spark plug. I will be putting a new spark plug in it, but I don't have one at the moment, so the old one will do. Reconnect your power valve. Now at this stage, you would put the new gaskets on for these valve covers and put the valve covers on, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna do something with these valve covers and make them look better. So I'm gonna leave them off for the moment. Now that's pretty much the top end of it done. If you haven't seen the video where I pull it apart and you need that kind of information, there is another video on that. So now when I pull the, the kickstand, you can actually feel the compression inside this engine now. There's not really much to a engine rebuild on a two-stroke dirt bike. This RM engine will be good, it has good compression. It's now time to put this back inside the frame and continue on with this bike. Hey, watch this video next or go to the Broken Sprocket video library and choose another top video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. After all, it's for free and guaranteed to make your day 20% better. If you're already a subscriber and you're having a bad day, just think it could have been 20% worse. 
can also follow Broken Sprocket on Instagram. So I'll see you in the next video.